So last time we talked about our design criteria for this project and we set up measurable goals for a lot of our design criteria, but one of them we couldn't do that for was entertaining and unique because this isn't something that we can quantify really easily. We need to set up a user-defined scale so that we can measure it. Um, so, so we know we need to set up a user-defined scale. What kind do you think we guys should, we should use? Um, I think first of all, we should figure out what range we want the scale to be on. I know um, Dr. Sadback recommended anywhere from a three, five, or 10 for a range. So what do we think we should do? So three seems like it's too small, right? Like mm -hmm. if we're eventually gonna ask people how they feel about a device, I'm not sure if you can fit them into three levels, especially since our device is really kind of unique for its position. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess on the other hand though, 10 seems like a very large number for just, I don't know, a set of emotions about a soap dispenser. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, so I guess for our purposes, five would be the best scale. Yeah. yeah, so five would be like the best for our device and one would be like really bad for our device. Mm -hmm. that, that makes sense. So we should probably start out with kind of picking the outliers, right? Like the five and one, like yeah. the extremes. Okay, so uh, let's start with five. What do we want like the best emotion to be from our device or the best reaction to our device? So I guess we need to come up with a way to kind of better state how would you feel if you're really entertained and you thought it was this really is the coolest thing I've like ever what seen. is that emotion or what does that make you feel like you want to do? Well, something our client Seth and Terrence said was that they really wanted the soap dispenser to be a conversation piece amongst their customers. Mm -hmm. They wanted people to come back from the bathroom and be like and tell their friends like, "Oh, this is so cool. You guys have to go to the bathroom and check this out." So I think that should be like our ultimate ultimate goal is so they see our device and they think it's so entertaining that they want to share that with their friends so their friends yeah. can go and be entertained. Tell your friends? Yeah. 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 And I guess on the other side of that spectrum, what would our the worst emotion be? What's it's kind of the opposite of entertaining and unique. So I mean, like boring, boring and bland. Is one. But I kind of feel like you could even be like more than just like think it's boring. You could actively dislike it. Yeah. yeah. So it'd be kind of like well, annoyed or yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think we could quite get to anger. <laughs> We've done a really poor job then. But. Assuming it's functional. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so annoyed. Yeah, annoyed uh, by having to figure out how to use the mm -hmm. device and the, that they would rather use a liquid one because they know how to use it. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess we should just work our way back up now. Um, mm -hmm. What's one step above annoyed? Two might actually be kind of the bland, boring one. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So you're kind of like ambivalent about it. You don't really yeah. care yeah. one way or the other. So, I mean, liquid soap dispensers are pretty boring too, so. Exactly. <laughs> Alright, and three is just a step above ambivalent. How do we, what do we want people's so like emotions in that range? A slight positive emotion. I think that. that's kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so mildly entertaining and unique. Mildly. You're, you're like, you're mildly interested by yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then we have like, so we have mildly interested, and then we have tell your friends. Like, what is in the middle? It's like, I think if the device really sticks out in your mind, maybe you're not quite as enthused um, as someone who wants to tell their friends, mm -hmm. but I think, um, I don't know, just a really like strong memory about it. Mm -hmm. So like we want our device to be memorable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like not, it's not like, oh my gosh, it's so exciting, but it's something that you're going to like, it that's gonna, out yeah, gonna, yeah, yeah, that's going to stay with memorable. you and you're going to It's like later on, you're going to think back. Oh, that was so cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now that we have this scale of one to five, we have to decide like where on it we want our device to be. So if we surveyed a bunch of people and we got all the responses to one to, from one to five, what would we want the average to be? Um, I think somewhere above a three. Because I know we definitely don't want people to be annoyed or ambivalent about our device. The whole point of our device is to generate interest among customers. So definitely somewhere above a three. What do you guys think? Yeah, because three is probably too low. Like, we don't want them to just be kind of mildly interested. Yeah. We want it to be like, a, like an actual positive response, not yeah. just kind of like mm -hmm. a little bit interested. So what about like a 3.5? Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so anywhere... it's, it's not so high as to be like, you, it has to stick out in everybody's mind, but mm -hmm. it's a little more than just halfway. Okay, mm -hmm. so greater so like than or one... equal to? 
So our goal would be to be like greater than or equal to 3.5 after a survey? Yeah. With 3.5 being the average. Yeah. Awesome. So we had one design criteria that we could not measure using normal metrics. Instead, it was measured by a feeling or opinion of each individual person. To combat that, we created a user-defined scale for entertaining and unique, in which five was that the user was so excited that they would tell their friends about it, four was that the device was memorable, three, the device was mildly interesting, two, they were ambivalent about the device, or one, they were annoyed by the device. We decided that our goal after surveying customers and taking the average would be greater than or equal to 3.5 on our user-defined scale.